good morning students today we are going to do chapter 3 multiplication okay so let's have a look at the sum of the properties of multiplication first so multiplication by 10 100 and 1000 whenever we multiply a number by 10 100 or 1000 by or by any of the multiples of 10 100 or 1000 say 200 3000 80 these are all multiplica multiples of 10 100 and 1000 right so what do we do in that case? Do we have to do the proper long multiplication? No. There's an easy way out. So let's have a look at what it is. So 4 multiplied by 10. 4 multiplied by 10 is 40. But what we actually did here, we just multiply 4 by 1 and add the number of zeros at the end. That is 1 0. So 4 multiplied by 1 is 4 and add 1 0 at the back. Let's have a look at the second one. 2 multiplied by 200. So you don't need to do the multiplication. Just multiply 2 by 2, 4. And how many zeros are here? 2. So just put 2 zeros. 2 multiplied by 2, 4. And 2 zeros. So 2 multiplied by 200 will be 400. Next, 5 multiplied by 3 will be 15. Count the number of zeros 1, 2, 3. And add them at the back. 1, 2, 3. So, 5 multiplied by 3 will be 15, 3000 will be 15,000. Next, 7 multiplied by 80. 7 multiplied by 8 will be 56. And there is one zero here. So, you will add up here. So, this will be 560. Now, for example, if it was 7 multiplied by 800, what would we do? We will write 7 multiplied by 8 is equal to 556. Okay, and now there are two zeros, so we will add up two zeros behind. So, 7 multiplied by 800 will be 5600. Okay, 5600. Now, let us look at how to do the multiplication of three-digit numbers with three-digit numbers. Okay. So, if I have here 434 multiplied by 278, let's see how we we'll solve it. First, write the bigger number on top. 434 multiplied by 278. Put the multiplication sign and make a line. Now we will start the multiplication. 8 multiplied by 4. 8 fours are 8 ones are 8, 8 twos are 16, 8 threes are 24, 8 fours are 32. So 3 above and 2 down. 8 threes are 8 threes are 24. 24 plus 3. 25, 26, 27. So 2 will go up and 7 will stay down. Next, 8 multiplied by 4. 8 multiplied by 4 will be 32. Plus 2, that will be 34. 33, 34. Now we have done multiplication with 8. Now we are going to do multiplication with 7. So put a cross here. When you start with the next number, first thing, put a cross here. Secondly, erase it. Erase the previous carryovers, okay? Just erase them. Now let's start again. 7 multiplied by 4. 7 multiplied by 4 will be 28. So 2 above and 8 down, okay? 7 multiplied by 3 will be 21. Plus 2, 22, 23. So 2 above and 3 down. 7 multiplied by 4. Correct, that is 28 plus 2, that will be 30. So, 3 and 0, 30, okay? Done. Now, you are done multiplication with 8 and 7. Now, we have to do multiplication with 2. So, erase the previous carryovers, erase the arrows and start again, okay? So, 2 fours are, put 2 multiplication sign, 2 fours are, 8, 2 3s are 6, 2 4s are 8. Correct? Now, make these lines, put an addition sign and add it up. So, 2, 7 and 8 will be 15, 1 will go up, 5 will stay down, 4 and 1, 5, 5 plus 3, 8, 8 plus 8 will be 16. So, 1 above and 6 down. 1 plus 3 will be 4. 
4 plus 6 will be 10. So 1 above and 0 down. 1 plus 3 will be 4. 4 plus 8 will be 12. So the answer is 1,20,652. This is how you are going to solve the multiplication of a 3 digit number with a 3 digit number. Okay. Now the important point to note here is to do it neatly, erase the carryovers and put a cross as you move on to the next number. Okay, unless and until you do it neatly and write only one digit under the other, you are not going to get the right answer. Okay, so don't make it shabby, do it neatly and correctly in your notebook.